The Monk Cat and the Pebbit There once lived a pebbit with her seven chicks in a bush in the jungle. A cat who had become a monk also lived nearby. Every day the pebbit and her chicks went in search of food. The cat would also take an early bath. <laughs> Put Chandan on his forehead and pretended to go to the temple every morning. The cat was actually looking for an opportunity to kill the pebbit and her chicks. One day, the cat asked the mother pebbit, Pebbit, how handsome do I look? The pebbit, who knew the intention of the cat, answered diplomatically, Master, you are fairer than a basket full of paddy. Ah. A pitcher filled to the brim with water. Ah. Uh -huh. A string of nacris and red thial fruit. The uh -huh. cat was pleased Yee. to hear the praise yeah. of the pebbit. <laughs> Next day, the cat again mm. asked the pebbit How the same question. The pebbit gave him the same answer. <laughs> Meanwhile, the pebbit trained her chicks to fly from one treetop to another till they all became experts at flying. One day, the cat again came and asked the pebbit, How handsome do I look? <laughs> the cat was taken oh. aback when the pebbit responded, You are ugly, you false monk. You look like a blackened pitcher. The cat got very angry and sprang on the chicks. He got hold of the youngest chick. The pebbit quickly asked the cat, Are you going to eat my child? The cat answered, Yes. The pebbit told the cat, If you want to make your lunch tastier, you should give the chick a bath and wrap it in a banana leaf and leave it in the sun for a while. The cat foolishly followed the instruction of the pebbit. As soon as the cat put the chick in the sun, the pebbit shouted to her chick fly, from the treetop to fly. At once, the chick flew off, leaving small droppings on the banana leaf. <sighs> he ate the droppings and said, If the droppings are so tasty, the meat would have been tastier. The foolish cat realized that he had been outwitted by the simple pebbit. <laughs>